we can develop the two country model, and especially foreign interest rate shock can be coming from foreign banks uh, losing the net to us, like a financial crisis. They, they, their cost of funding go up. So that, that's the uh, likely source of the foreign interest rate shock. I realize that foreign exchange intervention can encourage borrowing in foreign currency. Yeah. It's a moral hazard problem yeah. there. Uh, however, if you were to divide foreign exchange stabilization into two kinds, one the usual kind and the other specifically target to take care of the extreme sudden stop situations, uh -huh. then uh, yeah. uh, the stabilization aspect yeah. can be far more important than the moral hazard part, yeah. in yeah. which case there's a role for stabilization. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, my sense is the macro prudential policy can be more effective than foreign exchange rate interventions. I have to lay out all the model, but uh, right now, macro prudential policy is uh, when the economy is booming and the banker is borrowing more from foreigners, you try to discourage. And when the sudden stop comes, you, you, you reduce the, this tax or even subsidizing. And that way, real exchange rate can be more st stable. And that's, I don't know how practical <laughs> to do this, but the, yes, I, I partly agree, but the, perhaps the macro prudential is more effective than uh, foreign exchange rate intervention. depreciates so much and all the banker gets lost so much and they, they enter into the net worth become tiny and <laughs> the borrowing capacity drops so much. It can have a, something like a bank run style crisis. In that case, yes, you are right. Uh, like a multiple equilibrium situation, you want to stop deteriorating, jump into the bad equilibrium. Yes, that, that's, that's true. Uh, hi, yeah. just a quick question. Um, so uh, is it what makes uh, the model for emerging economies uh, mm -hmm. because of the assumption that the foreign debt is denominated in yeah. foreign currency? Yeah. Okay, so... so this, that this is a defining characteristic okay. we, we, we take. Okay. And of course, the recently emerging economy issues a lot of uh, uh, home currency denominated debt or uh, even mm. equities. Uh, so what we have to so, so modify. So when, when they do that, then, yeah. then there will be no distinction. Yeah, but the in, problem because is... Because a lot of mature economies, yeah, I mean, the, like the U.S. economy also. Yeah, but, the, but often, like uh, BIS or Hyun Shin uh, yeah. notice this. The, even if the, the emerging economy issues a home currency denominated debt, and the foreigner is going to hedge this one, and the provider of hedge is actually the emerging economies, exporting sectors. So. And uh, at the end of the day, who is going to bear the exchange rate risk is not clear. Actually, it looks like a lot of risk is still absorbed by the emerging economy themselves. So, so it is a tricky issue. Uh, let me, uh, let's thank Professor Kiyotaki profusely for that great talk. Okay, so that ends the session. Thanks.